Welcome to another exciting edition of Math with Mr. White, where we're going to go over a thing called absolute value inequalities. Now, we've done absolute values with equations, but we haven't mixed together the concept of absolute values and inequalities, where you have the greater than or less than symbol. So let's see what on earth this brings to the picture. Now, before we get there, I want to bring up... Um, Every time I do this topic, this comes to mind. And I used to work at a machine shop when I was a kid, when I was in college. My brothers both owned their own machine shop, so I'd go work for over the summer. And, you know, I'd take this big hunk of metal and I'd stick it in the machine and it would grind it away for like two minutes or so. And then I had to take it out and measure it and make sure it was okay. So there was a certain thing called tolerance or error that it was allowed to have. So I've got that written right here, tolerance or error. And often, you know, I would, I would be told what the error could be. In this case, you pronounce this 10 one thousands. So it's allowed to be too big or too small by 10 one thousands. So in other words, the absolute value, I don't care whether it's positive or negative, the absolute value of that error needs to be under, right, less than or equal to this error amount. So this is sort of a between question because I had to go from, uh, let's say the diameter was supposed to be 1.12 in a perfect world. And if I could go plus or minus 0.01, that would be 1.11 all the way up to 1.13. Anything in that region would be a good part, and I could uh, you know, start working on the next part. If there was a problem, then I had to adjust the machine. So this is an example of an absolute value inequality, and this was actually a between statement, which we've worked on before. So let's look at another one here. Uh, we've already talked about x is less than 3. That would be a closed circle going this way. Now, what happens if you say the absolute value of x needs to be less than 3? Well, then you'd still have this side, right? Anything under, under 3 there. However, let's think about that. Would negative 1 million work? If I put negative 1 million in there, would that work? No, because you'd, you'd have the statement 1 million is less than 3, and that's not right. So we actually have to be bigger than negative 3. Okay, so anything between negative 3 and 3, if you plug it into the original equation with the absolute value and everything, it'll actually work. So the answer here in interval notation would be negative 3 to 3. See how that works? So solving any inequality with a less than symbol and an absolute value turns into a compound inequality or a between, but uh, bleh, excuse me, a between question, okay? So when it's a less than symbol and the absolute value, it's a between question. So this is the, the other type. What other type am I talking about? Well, it's a greater than symbol. So let's see what this means. So here on this side, we do a closed circle arrow pointing to the right. Well, what happens if the absolute value of x needs to always be above 2? Well, that's still up here, right? That would still work. But what about, I don't know, let's try negative million this time. Would that work if we plug negative 1 million in there? Is 1 million bigger than 2? Yeah, it is. So if we stay under negative 2, we would be thumbs up, we'd have an answer as long as we're outside of the region between negative two and two. So anything above two or anything below negative two. So this is an or question. And I actually have a typo here. This should have a minus sign here. So make sure you fix, fix your notes if you're following along with your packet. So solving any inequality, the absolute value of is greater than, absolute value of x is greater than or equal to a you're going to have this statement, or let's go ahead and write it negative infinity all the way up to negative a union. Actually, I should put a bracket there because this is a closed circle problem. A to infinity. So that's another way to write it with in, uh, interval notation. 
All right, moving on. So what are the solutions to this inequality? So the first thing you have to decide, is this one of these types or is this a between question? Well, it's got the greater than symbol. So going back in the notes, a greater than symbol is a diverging or moving away from each other type graph. Okay, so what we would say is x plus 2 needs to be bigger than 4 or x plus 2 needs to be less than negative 4. Remember branching it off? That's basically what I did just now. I branched it off. Minus 2 minus 2, x has to be bigger than 2 or minus 2 minus 2, x has to be smaller than negative 6. So if you were doing a graph, here's negative 6, we'd have a closed or open circle going to the left, and then at 2, we'd have an open circle going to the right. So this is a diverging graph. In interval notation, negative infinity, comma, uh, negative 6, union, you always start with a smaller member, which is the negative, and then 2 to infinity. All right, so with a greater than symbol, you get one of these diverging type graphs. Now here's a less than symbol. Remember, this was the between kind. It was like the error that I had at the machine shop. I had to stay under a certain amount errors, but it didn't matter plus or minus. So the way you set these up is like this. I got to be under three, and at the same time, this is an and question, I got to be above negative three. So I'm between negative three and three. I add five on all three sides. We talked about this last time. Two less than two x, my less than eight. Divide everything by two. Divide everything by two, and I get one is less than x is less than four. So x is between one and four. That would be a parenthesis one comma four in interval notation. Okay, now. Another way to remember this, this is kind of cutesy, is less than has the word and in it. So when you have a less than symbol, it's an and problem like I just got done doing here. That's an and problem. It was a less than symbol. You see the less than symbol right there. And then if it's greater or, then it's an or problem. Okay, see how easy that is to remember. All right, so you're going to be practicing some of this on your homework. Don't forget to ask for help help if you're confused. Uh, be sure to always watch these videos and take the notes before you jump in on any of the assignments because why? You might be lost if you don't watch the notes. All right. All right. Take care, guys. Uh, contact me on Teams or via email if you need any help. Good luck.